Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel Grave Visitations here. So today I'm in Cahara in County Cork and um, we've come a long way today about four hours drive and I wanted to come here today to see the final resting place of Mary Therese Collins and I'll tell you the story about Mary Therese. So Mary Therese Collins grew up in the village of Cahara here in County Cork and was born here in 1913. And Mary died in 1929 at age 16 years old when she contracted rheumatic fever when she was just nine years old and suffered from ill health thereafter. So as we know, Mary passed away at 16 years old in 1929. So if we fast forward 50 years later, in 1979, while two grave diggers were at Cahara Graveyard in 1979, who were there to dig a grave for another family member at the Collins plot. While the grave diggers were standing at the grave and digging the grave to get ready for the burial of one of the Collins family members, one of the grave diggers was amazed when he turned around and said to the other man that was standing beside him, he said, there's a coffin in the grave. He said, that's here 50 years. And he said, it looks like the coffin was made only yesterday. To his surprise, he could see Mary Therese Collins's coffin as new as it was the day it was made and her plate was on the lid of the coffin with her name Mary Therese Collins who was born in 1913 and died in 1929 aged 16 years old. So I'm sure th th these grave diggers were very astonished to come across the coffin in such a good state. So being inquisitive at the day and the time in 1979, they opened the lid of the coffin and to their surprise, they found the body of Mary Therese Collins. In his statement, the grave digger said, Mary's body was in the coffin. Her cheeks were a bit brown in color and one of her eyelids was open. He said her body was the same way as it was the day she was buried it never decayed. So in other words, her body was incorrupt. So this find by these local grave diggers, as you know, word spread around the area and the village and people were astounded by this discovery. And April 22nd, 1979 when two men making a grave for a distant relation claim they came upon the perfectly preserved coffin and incorrupted body of a young girl oh yes it was the talk of the parish on and off for two years until a local reporter brought the matter to national attention on august 25th of this year her name mary Teresa collins and cora 
hasn't been the same since. Uh, Mary Teresa was inside it, and her hands joined, and her cheeks were a bit brown, and her eye was open, and her shroud was as sound as it was like yesterday, and the lining of the coffin was as white as snow. The evidence of the second grave digger corroborates this story. So I said to them, it is 50 years here. I said, there must be some mystery about it. Should we investigate it? So I said, I don't know. But anyway, we decided we would. So I had to come along the side of the coffin. I suppose four or five strokes of the pick before we lifted it up. So there, when we lifted the lid up on an angle, you know, from the left, the right hand side, of it, the two eyes were just shining at me just like two gold diamonds. So Dermot said, uh, oh my God, he said, close it up. Now, so in other words, your reaction was one of uh, surprise and shock. It was. It was. Like, after 50 years, we, we, well, we didn't know what we were going to expect, but we never expected to see the full corpse in the coffin. They closed the lid on the coffin and went away. And it was the following day, a local person I suppose would be a bit of a skeptic maybe and said to the grave diggers um, you know are you sure that this is what you saw maybe we need to go back to the grave and have another look he said you know her body could be looked just like a shell if air gets to the body it would just disintegrate was the person's thought. So the following day they went back to the grave again and proceeded to take the lid off the coffin and one of the grave diggers put his hand inside the coffin and said he felt Mary Therese's hand and said her hand felt like she was only buried the day before that they could not believe that this girl in the coffin had been lying in her grave 50 years and had not decayed. So, as I was saying, word spread around. People gathered. The Catholic Church was notified. And a local priest by the name of Father Collins with the same namesake and I don't believe he was any relation as far as I know but don't quote me on that um, her body was taken up examined and people said this woman or girl I should say should be a saint so the matter remained low key until a newspaper report in August 1981 stoked public interest and the grave became a site of pilgrimage to people from all over the country. At this stage Father Collins, the priest who helped with the wording of the headstone with Mary Therese's sister Katie Kingston removed himself from the matter, preferring to leave it to the higher church authorities. So we're here at Cahara Old Graveyard here in County Cork, and we're here to see the final resting place of Mary Therese Collins, who was laid to rest here in 19... 29 and it's a beautiful graveyard and very peaceful area where Mary Therese was laid to rest and it's a very very amazing story about Mary Therese And as people would say, her close connection to God. And so 
So here is the final resting place of Mary Therese Collins. And it just says the inscription here, in loving memory of Mary Therese Collins Cahara, who was born on the 21st of June 1913 and died the 29th of September 1929. And you can just see on the headstone there, it says her body remains incorrupt. Also her sister Nora Collins and their parents, Hannah and Daniel, C. Collins. Also their sister and daughter Kitty Kingston who died the 14th of September 1994 and as I was saying in the story Kitty was Mary Therese's sister and Kitty was the person who actually got the inscription put on the headstone here that her body remains incorrupt with the help of Father Collins the priest also and it says they are reunited together forever in the arms of our Lord rest in peace and we can see a beautiful statue of Our Lady there with rosary beads and as I was saying the gravesite has become a bit of a pilgrimage here in the area and I'm sure people leave all those rosary beads on Mary Therese's grave in the hope that maybe they would be healed from their own their own illnesses and stuff like that that people have in life and people say that people have been cured here aches and pains and you know, whatever sickness people may have. So I think it's very, it's a very interesting story of Mary Therese Collins, who passed away in 1929, and her body remains incorrupt. And could possibly even be classed as a saint. So rest in peace, Mary Therese Collins. And you're at peace now from your illness. In life you had, and she was only 16 years old when she passed away, a very young girl, very close to the Catholic Church and God, and who knows, my belief is, I would believe it. I'm a spiritual person myself and I would believe the story and Mary Therese and everything that happened and the grave diggers when they came across her body and what do you guys think? And please leave a comment underneath the, the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are on this story and but whatever the case may be, she's resting at peace now. So that's the grave of Mary Therese, guys. Rest in peace, Mary Therese Collins. So as I was finishing up the video of Mary Therese Collins, I noticed the headstone not far from Mary Therese's final resting place across the way and it says here sacred to the memory of Daniel Collins who died the 14th of May 1894 aged 80 years old 
great-grandfather of Mary Therese. So I'm just wondering, is this the great-grandfather of Mary Therese Collins, the girl who died at 16 and she was incorrupt her body? Now, I'm not quite sure, but I just said I would add it into the video to get your thought on the matter. It could be her great-grandfather, maybe, who died 1894 and was buried in a different section of the graveyard. He wouldn't be in the family plot. So it's just something to add to the video and get your thoughts on that also.